Do you have a Galaxy Nexus? Mine is running Android 5.1. Hi folks, I'm Swahan, Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and update my Galaxy Nexus to the latest CM 12.1, uh, Android 5.1. I know a lot of you probably don't have this phone, but for those of you who do, um, you can go ahead and install Android 5.1 and make your phone faster than ever. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the CM 12.1 running on my Galaxy Nexus. Let's do this, baby. Hi folks, so I've got CM 12.1 running on my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is a GSM version, but it is also available for the Verizon and the Sprint version. Now the Sprint version is a little bit um, different. I think it's a little bit more buggy, uh, but the GSM and Verizon versions are pretty solid. Now this is an unofficial version because I think uh, Cyanogen Mod no longer supports Galaxy Nexus because obviously this phone is like, what, three, four years old now? Um, but uh, by installing CM 12.1, uh, you'll be able to enjoy all of the latest Android 5.1. Now this ROM does come with a Trebuchet Sinogen Mod Launcher. Um, that one is actually a little bit laggy. So go ahead and just install Nova Launcher from the Play Store. And everything is really, really fast. So that is really nice. We get all the new features, of course, of Android 5.1. Um, it, this is not perfect, but it's going to definitely give you performance uh, boost if you're still on KitKat or maybe even ICS. Um, you're going to be able to get a ton of performance improvements. As you can see, I've got almost 16,000 on Antutu. Uh, by the way, the stock default Galaxy Nexus gets about eight, 9,000. So that's almost improvement of 100% uh, over the uh, stock or twice faster. So very good stuff and uh, you'll be able to revamp your phone. And this ROM actually comes with an older camera for the GSM and Verizon version. Um, that way you get the nice camera working. Camera works actually flawless with the older older camera. And also you can go ahead and download a Google camera off the Play Store if you want. That way you'll have two cameras. Of course, don't forget audio effects. Um, this is awesome app for uh, tweaking your sound and other than that, you'll get all the standard new features of Sandwich and Mod. Um, if you haven't tried it, there is actually a lot more than before uh, sounds here. Go ahead and control the sounds uh, individually. Also interruptions, uh, you can control that. Also there's quick settings. You can go ahead and change your Wi-Fi easily uh, without actually going into settings. And let me go ahead and go back to settings here. Uh, also display and lights, adaptive brightness. Uh, brightness level, double tap to sleep, all right, expanded desktop, cast screen, if you're using Chromecast, you can go ahead and cast your screen now, mirror it. Uh, also themes, you can get grab a ton of themes, all right, and change them better than way before. Notification manager, um, you can go ahead and select which apps individually, which, uh, which apps you want to get notifications from. Uh, other than that, you've got also lock screen, all right, and shortcuts and buttons. Uh, you can go ahead and enable left-handed mode. Um, you can go ahead and change the buttons. You can go ahead and add an extra button if, you're, if you want. Go ahead and add. Add a menu button. Save. Boom, shot clock. Oh, you got four buttons there. Power menu, you'll be able to add screenshot. All right. And other than that, I think that's almost about it. Oh, of course, you can have uh, multiple users, I think. Well, where is it? Accounts. There we go. Nope, that's not it. Actually, this one, this particular version actually doesn't have it. Um, but uh, overall, very nice ROM. Also, for performance, if you want to enable the performance menus, don't forget to go to About Phone. Hit the build number about five times on, until it says you're a developer. And then you'll be able to see performance menus. Uh, this particular, the GSM and Verizon version has overclocking. So you can go ahead and overclock it. All the way to uh, 1.5 gigahertz. I do recommend about 1.4 gigahertz like I have here. And you can go ahead and set that on boot. That'll make it a little bit zippier. Uh, overall, very nice performance. Camera works well. Uh, everything works, so you should have no problems. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week uh, for the Galaxy Nexus. And do let me know and do upgrade your phone to 5.1. Uh, one of the benefits of having a Nexus device is that you can keep upgrading Make your phone better, run faster, even though it's an old device. And thanks guys for watching this video. I am slowly updating all my old devices to Android 5.1 because I know some of you still are running these older devices. And this proves to you another reason why Android is better 
than iOS uh, because every time there's an update, uh, it makes the performance of your phone faster, especially if you have an older phone. For example, when the Galaxy Nexus first came out, the scores for stock Galaxy Nexus was around, I think, eight, 9,000. With Android 5.1, you'll get scores almost near 16,000 on Antutu, which doubles the performance of your Galaxy Nexus. So that's the beauty of rooting in custom ROMs, and that's pretty much what my channel is about. Anyway, don't forget to leave your thoughts on these older devices and putting Android 5.1. And if you're running Android 5.1 already, congratulations, you're ahead of the curve. And for those of you who are not, you don't always have to get a new phone. You can get these older devices, install 5.1, and you have a perfectly fine working phone. This is just another example, but I should have more ROM overviews coming for all kinds of different devices. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I'll stay on Android.